to your love connection reading for September. This is Mary. This is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries is going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. You could be dating, getting to know. It could be an ex. It could be someone you're separated from, someone you like, have a crush on. But you definitely do have to know each other. So I'm going to take a look at the connection, how you're both feeling about each other, what the mutual energy is, and we'll see how that will play out. And there will be an extended at the end. So if this resonates for you and you stay to the end, I will tell you in the end exactly what we will look into in the extended and how to get there and how that will work. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading. So please only take with you what resonates for you. Not everything here may resonate. I will put Aries, you on this side, your person on this side, mutual in the middle. If at any times you feel like the energies are reversed, please do that. Reverse energies at any time. Could be past, present, or future. And uh, we're going to see what we get for you here for Aries. So let's see what we have for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. I will mention the signs as I see them, but please only take them if they resonate for you, how they resonate for you. It could be signs and chart. It could be just the energy. So please do keep that in mind. So let's see what we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. With this first deck here, this is a zodiac oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. So some may or may not be um, dealing with an energy that comes out here, or it could be the energy of that sign. So we'll see what we have for you. And then with this first oracle deck here, I will get you an opening message. Well, that just flew out. An opening message and a closing message for you. And then we'll use the Lenormand to look into how you're both feeling about each other and the mutual energy. And then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot and bottom of the deck energy. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Aries, the love connection, you versus them for September. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female. General collective reading. Okay, there's your opening message. Can we get a closing message on this connection? Feel that one for Aries. So I'm going to put this closing message here, Aries. So if this reading resonates for you at the end, you can hang out for the um, closing message as as well as how we will go into the extent and what we will um, cover. So let's see what we have here. We do have Virgo. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Someone rising or Venus, male, you know, male or female, however that resonates for you. If not, Virgo does represent the hermit in the tarot, which does represent going into seclusion, retreating. It's about, you know, doing some deep diving, soul searching, introspection, healing, work, finding your path, your way, your light, all that kind of energy. Really deep thinking and soul searching and maybe going off on your own in a solo energy, either you or your person. Really thinking about this, perhaps. So we do have six there, which is a number of healing and balance. So let's see what your opening message is on your connection from the universe, from spirit, what they want you to know about this. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. So this is about being, you know, in high regard. It's about being uh, moral and just and having integrity and honesty. So there may be... Uh, a need here to have um, this sort of energy in your connection of it being honest, pure, and true and doing things from a place of integrity. All right, so let's get one for you, one for them, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection for the Aries. Aries, everything you need to know, Aries, is down below in the description box. The decks I'm using, my social media links, uh, your playlists are down there, Love in General. If you'd like to check them out, I do consider them all timeless. And uh, your, all your readings for August are out. Your love connection readings, your no contact readings, your single readings, and your general readings are all out. So if you'd like to find them, go into your playlist and you'll find them. I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back, check them out, feel free. You're more than welcome to do that. Okay. And if you are new or returning, or if you like my style, how I read, please do consider like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. If you do, thank you. Welcome to the family. Memberships are available on the channel. You can click the join button. Check it out if that's something you're interested in. All right. See what I have to offer. And you can find all that info down in the description. 
So let's see what we have for you, Aries, how you are feeling about them and the connection. Like I said, you can reverse this at any time. So we do have the key here. So 33, which is 6, healing, balancing energy. And we have do, do have the 8 of uh, diamonds here, which is the 8 of pentacles, which is about, about putting in, I can speak, putting in the effort and the work. So you may feel this is a very healing, balancing energy, or you want it to be in that energy. You want to put it in the work for it to be in that energy. But this is also about, um, and we do have a rose there. So this is sort of like a gift, a peace offering, a key. Here's the key to my heart. I want to give you the key to my heart. You have the key to my heart. Let's unlock this, work on it, see where it goes, bring in the healing and harmony and balance kind of energy. Let's see what your person has. So we do have the mask here. And they literally could be any sign because we have all the signs here. But we have 40, which is 4, which is about stability. 4 is usually about stability. So we do have mask here. We have the sun and the moon, which is the feminine and the masculine energy. So they may flip-flop between their masculine energy, their feminine energy. Maybe, you know, they're, sometimes they're out of balance and they're needing to find their stability. But the mask can also be about maybe maybe covering things up, not being honest and true, as we did have integrity there. So they may not be coming from a place of integrity, and that could be just because maybe they're not um, it telling you exactly how they feel, how they truly feel, what they truly want. So some sort of mask needs to fall away here um, so that everything can be exposed, everything can be uh, stable and balanced. I feel like you definitely want that. So let's see what the mutual energy is. So we do have the dice here. So this is about taking a risk, taking a gamble. It's kind of like the fool's energy. So we have 93, which is 12, which is 3. Threes are about, you know, teamwork, collaboration, you know, putting in the effort, building a foundation, uh, reuniting, coming together. So there is an energy about here about, you know, wanting to come together and taking a chance on this. But I definitely feel like... Either they have a mask and not truly saying how they feel, or you feel like they're, they're uh, wearing a mask, or maybe they feel that way about you. So however that resonates for you. But I feel like this is how you're feeling about them. So I definitely feel like you, um, you know, want to take that key, unlock the door, and uh, bring in peace, harmony, balance, and work on this. And... You know, they could feel like maybe you're wearing a mask, or I definitely feel like though they could be wearing a mask. But there is an energy here, both of you wanting to put in the um, work here, the three there, and taking a chance, taking a gamble on this. So let's get some cards to clarify this energy for you, Aries. Get some cards for them, you, the mutual energy. All right, so we got the world coming out for you. Ooh, the devil energy. Yeah, so you definitely feel like they could be wearing a mask here. And we have the chariot. I will go over the signs in a minute here. Just let me get um, all the cards laid out. Let's see what we have here. The eight of wands. So there's that <laughs> passionate, fiery. So yeah, you definitely feel like here with the world, there could be distance between you or maybe you have to travel to see one another or maybe you, you know, right now are only able to communicate on the web, World Wide Web. But this is about closure, cycles, um, Cycles ending, cycles closing, new cycles beginning. But there's some sort of toxic energy here. So that could be this ener the energy over here of them not truly re revealing themselves. Could be out of fear, stress, worry, anxiety, um, low self-esteem, doubt, stress. I mean, whatever it is for them. Three of swords. So we've got heartache and pain here. So we do have the uh, king of pentacles here, which could be a Virgo. So we do have... Um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, we have Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo. So, I definitely feel like here, there's some sort of toxic cycle between the two of you that needs to end to move this forward. So, if it's been a cycle of where, you know, you want to be open, you want to open that lock, that you know, unlock the door, you know, here's the key, let's open this up, let's explore, let's, you know, take a chance on this, and they're kind of got... Kind of like, I don't want to say two-faced in a bad way, but maybe sometimes they're like okay and then sometimes they run and hide. So it's like that shadow energy of back and forth, back and forth. Like maybe they're very um, flighty and flaky. Like they, they want it, then they don't want it, then they 
kind of reveal their feelings and they run and hide. So I feel like, you know, there's an end to end, a need to end that cycle. Also could be a very uh, strong, passionate connection between the two of you with the devil here. Uh, maybe almost addictive or possessive or obsessive between the two of you. I feel like that needs to end. Its stability needs to be brought in so that we can move this forward. The chariot here is about positive movement forward, success and victory. So in order to bring success and victory into this, this toxic cycle needs to end. And it could be just we come together, we have fire, we passion, we have passion, and then it kind of fades out. So that needs to end so that this can successfully move forward. So there's a passionate communication and the King of Pentacles. So this could be that fast, passionate energy and action comes in. And then sometimes, you know, the, you know, and leaves, but then sometimes they come in and they're stable and they're grounded and seeming, seeming like they're very sincere. So it's a lot of in and out flaky energy that makes you feel, you know, brokenhearted at times. Like, is this ever going to move forward? Have this for, for, uh, for forward positive um, movement that I've been waiting for. So let's see um, how they are feeling. Oh, we got four. So we have the five of swords. Yeah. So, you know, this is an energy of giving up. And Do we give up? Do we fight? You know, choosing our battle. Oh, okay. We have the knight of cups. So yeah, they're like in a battle with themselves to whether or not to move forward more in a space of love rather than just passion and heat and excitement. Two of Cups to Soulmate Union here. So there, you know, the Five of Swords can be that energy of we want it, we don't want it, we fight for it, we don't fight for it, you know, we walk away, we fight, you know, we fight for it, we don't, you know, turn our back. Eight of, and I just said the Eight of Cups, yeah, turn our back and walking away, exactly. Let's get three, two more, two more. And then we'll do the mutual. Okay, these two. So yeah, there's that moon energy coming through, which they had over here, and the hangman, which is Pisces. So we have um, Scorpio, Pisces, and um, Pisces again. So we've got two Pisces cards here. So because of their fear, you know, with the moon here, their fear, their shadow side, their back and forth energy, being in limbo, not taking any action on this, um... You know, walking away, coming together for like almost like it feels like a soulmate union, and then they turn their back and walk away, which puts this in a stagnant energy. And you know, leaving, I feel like you confused. So they're, I think, confused too, whether or not to give in to the soulmate union. It's like they come in, maybe they give in a little bit, and then they turn their back and they walk away. So it's like back and forth, flaky energy. But both in the energy here wanting to gamble and take a chance on this. So let's see what that is about for you, Aries. The Knight of Swords. So that's very fast action. There, Aquarius and the Sun. So how you both know that this, you know, would move along very, very quickly. So I feel like and now we have the King of Wands, which could be Leo energy. One more. And the Six of Wands. Is that offer? They are on the wreath. I think you both know that if there was a solid offer um, for a very successful future, it would happen very quickly. Maybe you both aren't ready for that. But we have the sun here, Leo. We've got Leo twice now. Um, maybe you both aren't ready for that. And maybe that's why, you know, there's, I feel like, a pause on taking, jumping right in and taking this gamble. Because it would happen quickly with the Knight of Swords energy. But the Sun here is the happiest card in the deck. Happy home and family, enlightenment, healing, success, victory, growth, abundance. It's the best, best card you can get. But we have the Five of Cups. So again, sadness. So we come in, we're happy, we're passionate, it's loving, and then we turn our back, and then it's sad and gloomy. Again, the... Um, Page of Wands, again, coming in with fiery, passionate communication. And then we have a lack mentality again. So here we are. <laughs> and here's Virgo re coming in here to confirm that with the Hermit. So, yeah, I feel like a very in and out energy would come in. We're fiery, we're passionate, and then we turn our back. We, you know, leave the other out in the cold. We ghost. We go into seclusion here. But we do have the star here, Aquarius, and the Four of Wands. Wow. And now we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is a match to the King. So we have divine counterparts here. Uh, that could be Capricorn, 
and we have Virgo, Aquarius, but this is divinely guided um, energy here. Faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true. And we have the four of wands, so this could be possible soulmate twin flame energy coming together, stability in the home front, uh, dating, getting to know, going in a more stable direction, commitment, marriage down the road here. Queen, King and Queen of Pentacles definitely are a uh, married kind of energy. But somebody needs to take lead control that you Aries with the uh, Emperor here. Or is that, no, that's the Hierophant. No, that's the Emperor. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's the um, Emperor. Okay. These cards are a little confusing. And here's my Divine Clarity from Source, Ace of Swords. And Six of Swords, moving into healing and balancing energy. And I had said that at the beginning. Energy. So there could be a successful new beginning here. It's going to take open, honest communication. Cutting away energy is no longer serving this connection. Epiphany, aha moment, awakenings. Here to have this, it's someone taking lead, taking charge to move this into a better place instead of being stagnant. Wow. So we're going to look at your closing message. So if this does resonate for you, um, Aries, and you would like to go to the extended, I feel like you both are kind of hesitant. I feel like you want this too, but... Um, I think they're more hesitant on their part, but again, you can reverse the energies. But also the mutual here is, um, you know, willing to take a risk and rush into this, which I think would, if it came together into a solid, solidified either commitment or whatever it is here, or moving in, or maybe getting married, or um, being exclusive, whatever it is for you, I think you both know it's going to happen very, very, very fast. So maybe there's a little bit of fear there or, you know, hesitant about taking that risk because I feel like it's a very strong connection, especially with the Two of Cups and the Devil. So before I show you this card, the extended links are below. Um, description box, top comment, Vimeo, Patreon. Uh, Vimeo is a one-at-a-time purchase. Patreon is a monthly membership, which you get access to all extendeds on my YouTube channel. They do charge on the first, so if you join now, they'll charge you again on the first. Uh, it's the same price, but Patreon's a better deal because you get access for all extenders. And in the extended, I will pull uh, from a different tarot deck here. I will pull new um, oracles just to see what the future energy will be. And then I will pull um, from this tarot deck. If you take action, what will happen? If they take action, what will happen? The future of the connection. And I also have some pure love messages here. Uh, we'll pull some messages on your connection what they would say to you, you say to them, the universe's messages. And I'll pull some letter tiles and see if we get words, um, names, initials, how it resonates for you. So let's see what the closing is. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. So I feel like there could be a lot of satisfaction. You have the green there, which represents the hot chakra. So I feel like there can be um, a lot of satisfaction in the energy of this connection, but it all starts with being open, honest, and truthful, and being um, moral and just, and bringing integrity and honesty into this connection to take a gamble to move this forward. Because we do have soulmate twin flame energy here. The sun, the two of cups, the star, the four of wands. So... Okay, Aries, uh, if you go to the extent, I'll see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Send you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.